Greetings everyone, this is Matthew Moretz, one of the priests at St. Bartholomew's, and I'd like to present to you one of our carved capitals. It's the fourth one on the right as you come into the church. Something that distinguishes this capital from every other capital on this side of the church is that Jesus is not the central figure. Do you see the person in the middle of the front panel who looks like he's wrapped like a mummy? Well, that's Lazarus of Bethany, one of Jesus' dear friends. Why is Lazarus front and center? Well, in the 11th chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, Mary and Martha summon Jesus to their village, for their brother is ill. But before Jesus could arrive to help, Lazarus died. He was too late to save his friend, and Mary and Martha, their brother was gone. And so, as was their custom, they pushed through their tears and wrapped their brother in cloth and laid him in a cave. On the outer panel of the capital, you can see Mary and Martha weeping for their brother and laying him inside a candlelit tomb. And this intense sorrow continues on the inner panel where you can see them mourning and sealing their brother's remains in that tomb and saying goodbye. Jesus finally arrives in Bethany four days after Lazarus dies. And this was a big risk because Jerusalem is two miles away. It's full of people who want to kill him and yet Martha is still upset at his bad timing. Lord, if you had been here, she says, my brother wouldn't have died. But, she says, even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask him. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. And Martha thinks he's talking about the resurrection at the end of time. She doesn't think he's talking about today. And then Jesus says something that you can see carved along the entire top of our capital. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He then goes on to say, and anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. He then says to Martha, do you believe this? And Martha says to Jesus, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ the Son of God, the one coming into the world. After this, Martha fetches her sister Mary, who is still cross with Jesus. Jesus asks them if they could take him to their brother's grave. And they do, and there Jesus cries. But he also says something else. He asks them to remove the stone from his friend's tomb. Despite the stench, they do it, and then Jesus yells, Lazarus, come out! Then, like nothing they had thought possible, the sisters watch as their brother emerges from the tomb, wrapped in the same cloth that they had bound him in. Then Jesus says to the sisters, unbind him and let him go. And Lazarus lives. The raising of Lazarus is a spectacular sign that God in Christ has power even over death. Whatever Jesus is up to in the world, death cannot destroy it. The grave can't hold it. And life springs forth from his presence, even for his friends who are in the tomb. Let those with ears to hear, let them hear. Peace be with you.